Hi everyone, a big warm welcome back to the YouTube channel. So it's 2024 and key on the agenda this year is dressing beautifully. I want to bring the art of dressing back into my style, whether that's casual or going out, I wanna just be beautiful dressing all year round. So I have an array of clothes to share with you today of all different vibes and environments. So put the kettle on, get your cups of teas ready because you're in for a treat. Let's start 2024 with a bang. Okay, let's start off with basics. I find basics one of the hardest things to shop for. So when I find good basics, I really like to tell you guys. So first up, I'm gonna talk about this basic attire here. So these are a pair of riding boots. Now these are great for England because they're like a rubber material. They're like welly material, but they're shaped like a riding boot. So they look beautiful, but they're so practical because it rains all the time. <laughs> so I find if you've got a suede boot or a leather boot, they just don't take the wet. Like you can walk through puddles with these and it's like what they're made for. So I have worn these so much that these are actually my second pair. I have a pair for like muddy walking and like going in the countryside and I have a city pair where I save it for like when I want to look my best and they're not got mud or covered on them. So I just wanted to share these with you because these are the boots that I wear with most outfits. So these that I'm about to share with you are another repurchase because I love them so much. I find good leggings so hard to find. Like, you can, there's millions of black leggings on the market, but finding a good pair that aren't saggy on the bum, like really fit you nicely, ever lame. Okay, I get these in a size four, and they are so tight. So they're a bit like spanky pants, but if you want that legging that sucks you in in all the places, then definitely try these. They're beautiful and they just stay, they're like a second skin, they stay to your body. Um, so yeah, and I think I would just get by like a size eight if I wanted them for around the house. I just find out of all the leggings, for me, these are the nicest. And then I have this knit from Arquette. And I am so funny about black knits or like knitwear. It has to be the right material. It also has to have the right amount of like looseness around the neck. So this is a plain black knit and I love that it has like thumb holes. So when I'm like doing errands and stuff, I often wear like a gilet. If you're wondering what I wear on a day-to-day -day basis, it's usually leggings and like something like this. This is very much my errand running every day kind of vibe. So I just thought I'd like start this off with something basic and then we'll get more glam as the video goes on, so stay tuned. So this next one is from my friend's brand, Novo London, and it's given me all the YSL vibes. I am obsessed with the YSL catwalk show. Even the winter, the spring, the past like two or three shows have been right up my street. And this is definitely on their vibe. So this has shoulder pads in it, which I've not seen in like the silk kind of shirt. The olive green color as well. I'm pitching this paired with like a black maxi skirt, gold belt, gold earrings, big sunglasses. Such a vibe. This color is stunning. So beautiful. It actually comes in different colors as well. I have the black one and I have the cream one. So this is a great one for that back to office vibes. It is a beautiful shirt dress. And what I love about this material is it's one that won't crease. And I find with like silky shirt dresses, creasing is a massive issue. So it's like, a sh it's almost like a satin material. It's like a thick satin material. But the way this drapes, beautiful and like, I just think this work vibe is elegant, it's smart. Even in the evening wear, like a dinner out, it's like that in-between vibe that's not super glam, but it looks put together. Boots in the winter, sandals as you go through into the spring, and I think the color of this, like this goldeny cream, definitely beautiful. I'm picturing this paired with like gold accessories and like a big tote bag. Definitely the like businesswoman vibes that I'm after. So this is a coat again from Zara. It's like a wool material. It could be worn as a coat or it could be worn as a cardigan. It's got this tie around, but it looked so comfy. And this over my basic layer for those off days, like with a beautiful handbag, beautiful shades, I think it's a really simple look. One of the things I love to do the most when I'm like in my basic tie is wear like a really plain outfit but have like a Prada bag and some like YSL sunglasses. Like just the accessories really make it look good when you want to be comfy. So that's a good tip. 
So this is a trench coat. It's a cream, creamy ivory color, but it does come in navy too. And what I love about this is that it's got this super high neck. So you can have like, when it's really, really cold outside like now, you can have like loads of like a polar neck underneath and it'd be quite snug. As it goes through to the spring, you can open it up and like have a little tea underneath it. So it's something that you can take through from winter to spring in England particularly. Um, and the belt round the middle, it, I, I've actually double wrapped it, which I thought was kind of a cool look. But this coat over like the basic layer, I think is a great way to make like your everyday errand comfy outfit look kind of chic, like a really put together jacket over the top. Okay, this is one of those things that the hanger will not do it justice, but I've got a thing for green, haven't I, this, this video. But this emerald green color with gold, so good. I just loved the structure of this and for evening, in January, like evening wear, I think the arms covered is that little bit of extra warmth. I think it's so flattering because it hooks you in around the waist and it has this drapage around the like hips and stuff, so super flattering. Thought this would be so striking, like very designer-esque looking. It comes in black as well, I think, so definitely options in this one. So this is something that I probably wear as like evening wear this time of year, but definitely in the spring, summer, this would work totally as like a coat. Um, so really versatile all year round. It's got these shoulder pads in which gives it a really strong look, but the fabric of this and how it floats as you move, it is a trench coat, but like this beautiful organza kind of chiffon material has a belt around the middle so you can scrunch it in. So it would work. I'm pitching this in spring, summer with like white shorts, a shirt, or like white in the spring, summer months, but as evening wear now, you could wear like a little nude body dress underneath it and just have it as the outfit. So definitely multiple ways that I could wear this throughout the year and it's just, it's beautiful like how it floats when you walk. So good. So this is a skirt I actually got last year from Karen Mullen and they have brought it back. So I wanted to share with you guys because it's one of my favourite skirts just because the fit is so good. The length of it is so sexy so if you're looking for a black pencil skirt that's flattering, this is great. And I think even with like a white shirt, black shirt, I've worn this in so many reels that have gone viral, so you will have known the one that I'm talking about. Black shirt and this knee length skirt is like my most viewed video, so I feel like this skirt is a winner. It's got like a corset structure around the waist, so it's super thick, like super flattering. And then I find it really comfortable to wear as well. This is a black Bordeaux top. It's kind of like a blazer material. It fits like a blazer. So it's like a blazer, but off the shoulder. I loved the Bordeaux neckline. And I think this paired with the black skirt looks really elegant. It's got that nod towards that old dress, old, like old school money dressing, that aesthetic. And I love that. There's such an elegance in the way that people used to dress. And I want to bring it back. And I feel like this is the vibe. Like, hair in a beautiful bun, like big shades and this walking into like wherever you're going I think is amazing and I think it's so like I love clothes that can be worn by any age like this is so timeless you could wear this forever so I have a real thing for long coats I love a sweeping coat that goes straight to the floor I'm really not a fan of a coat that like finishes round your knees or like mid calf when I want a coat I want it long I just think it looks better. It makes you look taller. I have a real habit of dressing to make myself look tall. I'm five foot four and everyone seems to think I'm really tall and I think it's the way I dress. Like, I never cut off my limbs so like you'll never see me in like, I don't know, just like straight leg jeans that cut off around the ankle. I just, or ankle boots. I like long things because they make you look longer. <laughs> That's my tip anyway. Maybe I should do a video on how to make yourself look longer. Um, so this coat is sweeping, like it's to the floor. So I'm five foot four and it's like fits me. So maybe if you're shorter than that, this wouldn't be a good option. But this is from a brand called Glamoda and it was one I discovered, my friend was wearing it and I loved what she was wearing. So I was like, this is cool. And they have really amazing fat, like styles on there, so definitely a brand to check out. 
but you might have seen this. This was the first coat in my first reel of 2024. Um, if I've got some footage, I'll put it here. But it comes with a belt as well, which is really, really cool. But I just loved the long black coat. It's kind of like a blazer material. So it's like a long suit. Such a vibe. Again, it is that nod to like that old English dressing. Like I really picture this is the type of thing they'd wear back in the day, but with like a skirt, like a maxi skirt. Really good. I like it a lot. Last thing I want to mention is the dress I have on. It is a floor length um, jumper dress off the shoulder and I love the bardo necklines, don't I? But this is something really easy to wear. Definitely an in-between vibe, I think. It's really hard to, I find it particularly really hard to tackle that in-between when you don't want to look too dressy, but you don't want to look casual. A jumper dress like this is very good for that in-between vibe. And I've just paired it with some boots today, you can probably see here, but yeah, it's got this gorgeous fluffy material and it's super soft to wear and just thought I'd mention it here. Okay guys, that is everything today in this haul. I will do a little recap for you guys now and let me know your favourite look in the comments down below because I really enjoy knowing what you guys like because it helps me shop and know what you want to see and stuff. So let me know in the comments down below which is your favourite now. everything that I've shown you in this video in the description down below along with the size that I have on. I'm at the Laura Blair on Instagram and TikTok. Come say hey over in those channels and happy new year. I hope everyone's going into the new year with a fresh headspace to like really get what they want this year. And yeah, I will see you next time for another video.